All right, I'm pretty sure we can finish the seed tonight. We have the shovel now. So, like, what else do we need? Well, actually, we still need the Dragon Key and two of the Gemstones to enter Tarm Ruins, and we still need that Blasted Seed Satchel! Yeah, so... I think while I'm in Sabrosia, I'm gonna... get more ore chunks just so I can get the stuff in the shop. We can do that while people trickle into the stream if they feel like it. Oh, hi there. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I know. With the magnetic gloves, we can go to that one... the... That one area that has the fifth... the times 50 ore chunks, which would be great. Hey, Prince Dusk! Welcome! Ooh, internet test. Hopefully it goes well. So you're at the new place now. Nice. Alright, now we can magnetic gloves. Ow. That's not nice. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, get out of here. Alright, 88 ore chunks. That's pretty good. I think we can buy some of those reins at the shop now. But doggone it, like... One of the treasure... The treasure map shows that the, one of the remaining jewels is somewhere in Sabrosia, but I swear I've looked everywhere. Experts rain. 20 ore chunks and 10 ember seeds. Yeah, sure. Energy rain? Trade it for the... Oh, that's right. You need the star-shaped ore for that. How about this rain? Seed rain. 30 ore chunks. I don't think one of those could be the red ring, but you never know. And what else am I spending my ore chunks on? Oh no, I'm too short. Doggone it. Well, we've, ex we've explored every screen in Sabrosia at this point, and I don't think there's anything else that requires the shovel. I guess we could go chase after the two brothers again, but I've been told that that only yields a junk location. Okay. Well, we gotta find the two jewels. Oh, wait. Hang on. Is that a portal? Oh, that's not a portal. I thought that was one of the portals to Sabrosia, but I was incorrect. Okay. Well, guys, that's a lead. <laughs> So now we gotta go back to where the pirates are located. Because we can take that shortcut down. Ooh, nice! <laughs> you might be able to watch my streams at a higher quality than I can actually stream them. Because I stream at 30 FPS and like 1500 uh, kilobits per second. Anything more than that and my, screen my streams tend to crash even more than they already do. Hey Dave! Nice to see you again! So, you missed last stream, but we didn't actually get that much done. We went into the Explorer's Crypt for a bit, we beat the Unicorn's Cave, we beat the Sword and Shield Maze, and we found the uh, Shovel. But we're still on the lookout for two of those jewels, and we still need the Dragon Key, and we still haven't found the, that Razafrazin Seed Satchel. Still can't warp around, which is such a pain in the butt. Well, I can't warp around with seeds, anyways. Hi, Maple. No, I'm not interested in taking your stuff this time. Okay, so I was mistaken about... Okay, it's up one and right one. The jewel's here, so... Oh my gosh, I forgot all about this. Forgot all about this... Yeah, if you turn it to summer, the water drains, and there's a secret cave with what's normally a piece of heart in it. Razzle Frazzin, yeah. Oh, sneaky. Also, can I get a bomb upgrade? I would appreciate that. This has got to have it. There we go, the square jewel. 
Now the problem is... The, so the last jewel is in the Explorer's Crypt. But at this point, I think I can't get it until I get the Seed Satchel. I'm at a point in time where... Without the Seed Satchel, I can't use the Pegasus Seeds in order to light all the torches in time. So, hmm... Not soft lock, nope. Just gotta use my head. Where can I use the shovel? Hmm. Just to make sure, I'm gonna take a dip back in the Explorer's Crypt to see maybe I missed a chest somewhere. Hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! I'm not... Okay, so I looked at the spoiler the spoiler log, which told me that I there was a check in the Sword and Shield maze that I forgot to do. So I did that last stream. This time, right here and now, I either need the Dragon Key, the Pyramid Jewel, which is in the Explorer's Crypt, or I need the Seed Satchel. My understanding is that I need the Seed Satchel for the Explorer's Crypt to get that chest, but I'm gonna double check. Yoink. All right, let's make it autumn so we can get the heart piece in the graveyard. Oh, that's right. The, yeah, the bomb upgrade. So the bomb upgrade is not randomized. That's just always in the vanilla location. That would explain a lot, actually. What's happening on the 16th? I'm also looking forward to the 16th, but for a completely different reason. For a family reason. Yoink! Give me that heart piece. Alright, so if I go in here... Oh, that's when the new FNAF game comes out. Interesting. Okay. So I do, I do remember the overall shape of the dungeon. Yeah, so I think that's as far as I can go. There are no... Wait, but I don't... Wait a second. I don't have the... I forgot. I don't have the um, the compass, so I can't see where the chests are. So I actually... Oh, let's take a peek around. There could be something obvious that I'm missing. Or who knows? Maybe there is actually a way to... do this without the Pegasus Seeds. So FNAF Security Breach, that's different from the mobile game that was made, right? Where you, like, move the iPad around and then the animatronics come up at you? Sorry, I'm not super up on the FNAF lore. Last FNAF game that I paid attention to was the, um, Help Wanted VR game. Completely different, okay. Nice thing about Explorer's Crypt is it's not super far out of the way. So if I have to if I have to come back again, then that's fine. It's not a huge deal. Semi free roam. Interesting. Did I ever hit that button? I think I did. Because that just takes you to a key, I believe. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm coming up Trump right now. Actually, wait, no, that's a good thing, isn't it? Alright, we got that one. Hey, Mobius! Welcome, welcome. We're just on the hunt for the mysterious seed satchel. Okay, I'm not dealing with all those. <laughs> oh wait, I have the magical boomerang now. They are easy to kill now. Ha ha! The second Poe does not require Pegasus seeds. Okay. Did 
Did I ever go down there? I did. Did I ever actually grab everything there, though? Oh, wait, yes, I did. I remember. <laughs> hey, nice to see you, Jay. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you're not allowed to help Artie. You have to let him suffer. Okay, yeah. So we can't get through there. So I assume so we're going to need Ember Seeds, obviously, and probably... Rock's Cape? Hmm. It's nothing from that. If you time that just right, then maybe? I'm also going to be running out of Ember Seeds if I'm not good enough. Are you sure this doesn't require Pegasus Seeds with the Seed Satchel? Because it sure feels like it does. Alright. Nah, forget that. <laughs> forget that. Alright. Oh, really? So, then how would you do it? Please enlighten me, because as far as I can tell, that seems impossible. I really wish I had Gale Seeds. I got the Curse Screen again! Yay! Game just loves reminding me, hey, remember when you did that Cursed playthrough with four hearts? Or three hearts, I can't remember? Man, that, that was terrible. Have I ever gotten the Secret Game? Where you uh, play Oracle of Seasons, then you play Oracle of Ages, or vice versa, and you link from one to the other? Oh yeah, I've done that. This ain't my first rodeo through the Oracle games! Alright, now having said that... There's nothing down here, is there? This is just a linked game only? Yeah. That's what I thought. Wait, it says I've never gone to visit the Meku tree? That's just not true. Unless the Meku tree's got something hidden up here. I don't think he does. I think he just gets progressively bigger. Oh yeah, there's the Gasha Seed. I don't think it leads anywhere else, though. All right, think, think, think. I, f I think everything is done in Subrosia. At this point, I can't think of anything else that there is to do. How about in the Sunken City area? Is there anything that needs the shovel? Hmm. I've gotten everything in the desert. Still can't do anything in the Natsu Prairie, because I still haven't gotten Scent Seeds. And I think, actually, that, that will, won't be randomized, that'll just be the Seed Upgrade. Hmm... Anything in the Northern Peak or Spool Swamp? No, I don't... Actually, wait! Oh! That's it, isn't it? Spool Swamp. I think there's that Snow Cave that you can't reach unless it's winter and you have the Shovel.
Alright, well... I could just go for the Natsu Prairie, but I'm not doing that on principle. Do, 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 do. Yeah, alright. This FNAF game sounds interesting. I generally don't play FNAF myself. I like watching other people play it, because I'm a bit of a wuss, but... It's an interesting series, for sure. I like how they hide the lore. It's also very creative. Wink. Okay, humba diddly bum Off to Spool Swamp we come. Actually, what's buried in Spool Swamp, now that we can reach that with the shovel, that also might be randomized, or it might still just be a rain. So there are two things to check in Spool Swamp. I'm, fi I'm speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, not Friday Night Funkin'. Two games you know nothing about. I don't know anything about, um, the Funkin' game. But I am pretty well versed in Five Nights at Freddy's. Do 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 do. Oh hey, convenient! Because the default season is summer, we don't even have to backtrack for this. So is this going to be randomized? No, it's still a rain. Shoot. <sighs> Deku scrubs under rocks are the are the worst. Here we go, winter time. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. If this doesn't have what I'm looking for, then we in trouble. <laughs> nice. Alright, yeah, so we... I don't think Ricky was able to punch our way through this, so this should be something new, and I'm uh, fingers crossed that this is something... Wait, we've already been here? Could Ricky punch through it? Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, great. Is there anything on Mount Cuckoo that requires the shovel? Or like the magical boomerang? I don't know. Hmm. Pretty sure at this point, cutting through Sabrosia is going to be a much faster way. Yeah, those, that's annoying. But it's the price you pay with the... I'll say the acre system. Man, ma maple is everywhere. Alright. We need... We need our good buddy Ricky. Hey, Ricky! Gotta line up just right. Nothing about the level 7 Poe? Alright. It's one thing to say, oh, you can do it without the Pegasus Seeds, but until I actually learn how you can do it without Pegasus Seeds, I ain't bothering with that. Okay. With this, we should be able to cut quickly over towards Mount Cuckoo. Oh yeah, only a few squares over in Subrosia, and it takes us literally across the entire map. <laughs> it's 
So that's where the keel is, but we don't actually have the dragon key, so... Aha! Don't think we've been in there yet. Not sure if that actually leads anywhere, but may as well try. I can't remember where all the freestanding chests are. Oh, it's just a great fairy fountain. Hmm. You don't randomize anything, do you? I don't think the scrubs randomize anything. Oh, yeah, that's right, you just give a hint anyways, so you're useless. You also just offer hints, right? You say it's in the Valley of the West, but that's just not true. At least now we don't get stranded here when Moosh leaves us. Alright. Oh, oh, boy. This doesn't lead anywhere. Actually, I guess it does, but I don't think it leads anywhere important that we haven't already been before. Oh yeah, that, that's the way that leads up towards the... Goron who gives you the bigger rain box, which is useless because you start with the max rain box anyways. Oh, also, I haven't taken a look at the new rains that I've gotten. Punch one, not... What's the difference between the expert's rain and the fist rain? They seem to do the same thing. You had a bus driver in elementary school named Mooch? I feel like if you have a name like Mooch, you're either going to be awesome or terrible, and there's literally no in-between. So that's Northern Peak. Way down we've, leads to the Natsu Prairie. And this just takes us to... Yeah, Gashapot. Well, great. Um, it might be time to bust out the spoiler again. Because I'm out of ideas. Let's see. I cleaned out level 8. No worries about that. I just don't... I don't know this game as well as I know Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, so there's probably just a place somewhere that I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. All right, text document. Oh, interesting. I did not know that about the experts arena, but that's cool. Okay, I'm... hmm. I'm very confused now. Um, so one thing that it mentions... So it mentions that the one... the pyramid jewel, the one that I'm missing, it says Dungeon 7 Basement 2 Floor Drop. And I don't know what the heck that's talking about. Oh, hey, Marty. Yeah, sorry. I'm totally stuck in this game, in this randomizer seat, and I'm just... I'm trying to figure out how I can grab something. 
Ouch. Because right, right now, Marty, just to catch you up, I either need the Seed Satchel, the Pyramid Jewel, or the Dragon Key. Until I get one of those, I cannot move forward in the Seed, and I've, as far as I can tell, I've checked everywhere and cannot figure out where the heck it is. I have no idea what it's talking about, but I'm going back to Dungeon 7 to see... Because apparently, I'm able to access that chest without the f flippin' seed satchel. Can I go down... S well... Oh, doggone it. I bet you it's... When I went to the basement, I'm like, no, I've done everything here. I bet it, I was there was something there that I didn't do. Ooh, that's great. Yeah, YouTube just notified me that you left a comment on that video. I thought I had told YouTube to never ever do that while I'm not while I don't have the Internet Explorer open, but hey. Eh. And for those of you who are wondering, no, I don't actually use Internet Explorer. That was just an example. Okay. Back. Oh, wait, before we do. Hey, bro. Alright. We go to the basement. Oh, that's right. There's nothing else worth getting there. Because that is not a bomb upgrade. That is literally just ten bombs. Also, darn it. We can't go into the advanced shop. If we could literally just change to say, hey, this is not a Game Boy Color emulator, it is a Game Boy Advance emulator, then we would be able to enter that house. But, no. Alright. Rod of Seasons cleft for me. <laughs> you came here because you were bored and haven't been disappointed? <laughs> Talk about this stream in particular, or my content in general? Because I feel like this has been an exceedingly boring stream. Thank goodness I have chat to interact with, otherwise... Yeah, not a lot would be happening. It does seem to be implying that, doesn't it? Oh, sh I'm stupid. I didn't even have to go to that stump. I have Rock's cape. I'm invincible. Also, I don't have any Ember Seeds, so... I used them all last time I went to the Explorer's Crypt. Maybe we can find some on the way. I don't think you can find any just by digging up the ground randomly, though. Hope the dungeon gives me some! Alright. <laughs> Alright, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Alright. Give me Ember Seeds or give me Death. Oh, wow, the game's really trying to give me death. That was an expression. <laughs> give me liberty or give me waterboarding. Why am I trying to... That is not Rock's Cape. Well, that's true. I do remember the bushes in here. There we go. It's a reference to a Lemmings Forms Jackbox session, Marty. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I can think of worse ways to go. I can't think of a better way to go than on a boogie board in the ocean. Actually, I can, but... Alright, so... Floor 2 drop-off. Very distinct... Are you talking about this one? Because we already got that chest! Oh, 
Oh, am I getting waterboarding confused with boogie boarding? Whoops. Yes, I know what it is. I got the two terms confused. My, so sue me. Marty, I am aware of what it is. I just... I got the two terms confused, alright? Uh... Do we, do we want to start going into the fiends that you've forgotten while doing recordings, Marty? Because we can. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, we can go up from here. But again, yeah, this is literally just something I've already done. Unless there are two chests up here, which I highly doubt. And I'm almost positive I did this puzzle on the left side as well. Oh yeah, it was this puzzle. Yeah, I, I've done this puzzle, it just gave me a key. I'm in a s- I'm being framed. Oh wait, no. Do do do. It's okay, no. I did learn recently there was a word that I've used on my channel before that means something very different than I thought it did. Not gonna go into any more details than that, but... I was about to say, Marty, that my, one of my friends in my Bible study is a lawyer, but he's actually a prosecutor, the exact opposite of what I would need. Can you move the blocks? We are literally, we are literally, uh, well, hang on. If we have the swimmer's rain. If we have the swimmer's rain, can we beat this? The answer is absolutely not. The, sp the spoiler log called this D7B2F drop. <laughs> Sorry, I, I accidentally clicked a weird part of the window. Mm hmm. Witchcraft, indeed. Yeah, I've gotten that chest, too. Okay. Unless somebody can tell me how you can light those torches without the Pegasus Seeds, I'm stuck. <laughs> Dave, you say it's possible. Tell me how it is possible. Otherwise, I don't believe you. <laughs> I actually do. You've been completely right about everything up until now, so you your track record is pretty solid. <laughs> but I'm a poor lost soul. <laughs> That's all the way in the back. Go fast? I... I did! What else do you want from me? I ran as fast as I could. And the friggin' seed satchel is probably hidden behind this as well. I actually never saw where the seed satchel was hidden on the, uh, spoiler. I kinda do need to- I do need Sonic, as a matter of fact. Alright. This should be- okay. This is one of those tricks, if it is if it is indeed possible without um, Pegasus Seeds, this should be one of those, like, advanced tricks that you can enable to put it in logic. Yeah. 
but you this don't actually, but it's not there by default. Kind of like how, yeah, you can beat the Fire Temple in Ocarina of Time without using, without needing the Goron Tunic. But that's something extra. Okay. Okay, are you serious? Right. Come on, Link. Well, we we screwed up. You gotta be kidding me. Like, do you have to lag the game? So that it stays lit for longer? This is ridiculous. Also, these are not giving me Ember Seeds when I need them. There we go. Um, here's the problem. Save states don't always work on this emulator. So first off, save state... Okay, it's shift and then... Okay. We can try, so... Okay, no, save states work for the Game Boy Color emulator, just not so much the N64 one. Alright. Oh, come on! I was like a frame off! Alright. I didn't want to do this, but drastic times call for drastic measures. If you're forcing me to do, like, a task trick to be in logic... We're slowing the game down. I don't need any calming tea. Wow. Even when the game is slowed down, it's still like impossible. This, this is officially going into the line of this is not fun, so it should not be in the randomizer. <laughs> and unless there's some way for the Hyper Slingshot to be able to hit more two of them at once. But I've, I've tested that, and it's not... And unless we can move these blocks, it's not doable. Can you hit it when you're not fa- That's true. Let's try the weird angles we can do. So first off... Okay. Nope. I was like, can we shoot it through the block? Because if that's the case, if we could go on the inside, that would be so much easier, but no. Come on, are you serious? Can I post the spoiler log in the Discord? Uh, I'm not part of that Discord. But let me read on in the spoiler log. Like, where the heck is the Seed Satchel? If I can get that... Is the seed satchel here? Well, guys, we are so screwed because the seed satchel we need to beat this puzzle in order to get. Oh, we are screwed. Are you kidding me? Okay. What do you mean that didn't hit? Look how precise that is! 
This is terrible. Oh my gosh. Yeah, do not have that forced into logic. Ever. Unless people blatantly want it to be in logic. Oh no, we have to keep the torches lit as well. I'm gonna just make a preemptive save state here. Oh wait, the to if the torches go out... Okay. The weird thing is, on my successful attempt, I don't think I did it any differently than my failed attempt. So that's just... that's dumb. Not good. But here we go, we can beat the seed at last, hooray, hurrah, haru. Alright. Explorer's Crypt End, here we come. I didn't even have the green rain equipped. Speaking of having the green rain equipped... <laughs> Goodbye. Yay, we made it past the block, and once we've cleared out this dungeon, the rest should be pretty easy. Well, I say that, but we do also have uh, Ancient Ruins left, which I still contend is the hardest dungeon in the game. But I believe the worst is over. There's a small key, yay! Man, Rock's Fever Rock's Cape makes that a lot easier to cheese. Alright, well may you know what? Maybe one of us will change our mind after watching me try to go through that dungeon. How about that? <laughs> maybe it'll end up being easier than I remember, or maybe you'll see why I dislike it so much! <laughs> well, that's fair. I cannot wait till I get the Noble Sword and can break these pots just with my sword. Ooh, I need that fairy. Oh! Give me a break. That torch puzzle is probably impossible if you, uh, without Pegasus Seeds and the Hyper Slain Shot. I'm not worried about the boss. The boss is fun. I've beaten the boss with <laughs> minimal hearts. And the Cursed Rain. Get <sighs> Stupid Moldorms. Oh yay, Rock's Cape Cheese. We don't even need the Pegasus Seeds. That's great. Alright, this is the battle that you do need to keep the torches lit. Hey, Post Sisters. How dare you. Ah, I don't wanna! Well, too bad. You're gonna. No, never! I'll come back to haunt you! I'm sure you will. Well, you already haunted me enough trying to get past you the first time. 
Oh, alright. The rest of the dungeon should be pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Actually, I think we can face the boss right now if we wanted to. Yes, we can. <laughs> I thought we already had the boss key, but there we go. Oh, that's right, it's the sword and shield maze was the one that we got the boss key, like, immediately. I don't think there's anything else in here, but there might be. You never know. He'll never know. Oh, no, I hate this room. Maybe we can cheese it. Oh, oh shoot, we actually do need Pegasus Seeds for this room. There's no way we can step on them in the right order. Alright, guess we're just going straight to the boss. Yeah, there's no way you can get through that with no Seed Satchel. Alright, we're going off to the boss then. Well, that's just not fair. Alright, time for everyone's favorite boss, Zack and Wheezy. Still much easier than they were in Zelda 1. I love how their disembodied torso comes to hurt you after you actually defeat their heads. Yeah, not too bad. Oh look, it's the compass! Yay, let's get out of this dump. We get the Seed of Life! Yay, yay, yay! Unfortunately, we still didn't get the, the Pyramid Stone for the boss, so now we actually have to do that stupid Magnetic Gloves puzzle. People can't tell, because I don't use a face cam, but I'm smiling in a pained way right now. I did not forget the jewel. I was hoping that Zack and Wheezy would drop it after I killed them. Smile if you love lemmings. <laughs> See, sometimes it's a painful smile. Okay. Who dead boo me? <laughs> All right. Okay, this is not the magnetic gloves puzzle that is really annoying. The annoying magnetic gloves puzzle is the one where if you don't already have rocks cape going in here. Alright, we are going to Tarm Ruins, and we're not coming back. We're still not in go mode yet. We still need the Seed Satchel, and we still need the Dragon Key. But after that, we can see the light. <laughs> now unfortunately, Tarm Ruins is kind of far away. See a Maple. I'm pretty sure the red rain is not randomized, so we can also get the red rain before going to a dungeon six. And the noble sword, which means 
all difficulty related to battles will be completely and utterly gone. Oh shoot, I keep forgetting to use the Fool's Ore on the boss fights. I paid 300 rupees for that Fool's Ore, I should be using it. Uh, so it's still the vanilla game, so we still need to get all eight essences, get the Mako Tree Seed, and then defeat Onyx in his castle. That's how my understanding of how the seed works. Tarm Ruins. Very weird area. Not a fan of it myself. But it has some cool puzzles. Very interesting music in here, though. Very underrated music here. It's true. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in randomizers that turn out to not be required. <laughs> Someone down here, in this area, is going to give me something good. Travel be I already knew that, alright? I know how to get for Tarm Ruins. Okay, that's annoying when they knock you back into the loading zone. <laughs> Important. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. That's all four golden beasts. The Red Reen is MINE! No, that actually apparently is a 2D Lionel. Just significantly easier to defeat than they are in Breath of the Wild. Oh wait, ooh, <laughs> I think this is just a fairy fountain, but... Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's where the uh, phonograph needs to go. Uh, whoops. Alright. So despite where I live, spring being significantly colder than autumn for the most part, you, the game seems to think that autumn is colder than uh, spring is.
The full Zora could have killed the Golden Lion a lot faster. Oh, doggone! I keep forgetting about that. Oh no! This got randomized! I was... what a... I was duped! Fall is colder for you, usually? I guess... I guess it depends. Because so, for me, in Michigan, we only... I guess we only really get a week of spring. What I consider spring weather. So normally spring is like March till... March through May. Spring is normally March through May. In Michigan, March through May is cold and wet and windy. Which is the worst combination of all of that. Oh my gosh, we finally have scent seeds. I remember there's a hidden cave here somewhere. You can't trick me. Um, kind of. Michigan... The, kind of the phrase for Michigan is, Welcome to Michigan. Don't like the weather? Don't worry, just wait 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally can warp! My gosh! Oh, dear lord, that took forever. Alright. There we go. Now! Oh, yeah, I have the Pyramid Jewel. I've had that for a while. I can warp. I can finally warp. <sighs> Just gotta soak it all in. Oh my gosh, Gale Seeds. I never want to go that long without you. <laughs> Ever again. Alright. Well, first things first, we have a very powerful reward to claim. Do 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 do. Hey, old man! You've slain all four beasts! Oh, I'm absolutely going to abuse it. Not even. It's not even close. Give me that red rain. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have double attack power with our sword. Why, yes, that is broken. Second thing we're going to do, even though it's not strictly necessary, we're getting our seed satchel expansion. Hey, oh yeah, Dimitri, you're still here. I'll brave a little bit of that Supreri again for the sake of more than double the Seed Satchel space. Still can't one-shot like likes, that's kind of annoying. I don't know why I did that. Hey dude, I just really, really love the Seed. Hey, you're supposed to expand my seed satchel! 
Or is this the... Am I missing something, or is that the wrong Deku scrub? Either way, fine. We'll make do with just 20 of everything. Alright, anyways, off to Dungeon 6. The dungeon that made me rage quit the game the first time I played. You fool, I have the red rain. Ever ever seen Lord of the Rings? It's it's like that rain, but better, because it doesn't corrupt you. I wonder if Twin Rova's warning will still be in this. Nope! Took it out. Alright, Ancient Ruins time. It's turntables, the dungeon. Actually, I think that might be the only turntable. Oh boy, five rupees! I can eat a Taco Bell now. Gibdo's dying two hits from the wooden sword now. The power of the Red Reen. Also, if memory serves, you can permanently lock yourself out of a part of this dungeon. I could be wrong about that. But I swear there was a small key hidden behind a locked door. Chicken nuggets are much better than Taco Bell. Then again, most fast food places are better than Taco Bell. Shots fired. That doesn't actually lead to anywhere spectacular. I wanted to have adventures. Do -do 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 -do. Oh boy, the compass. <laughs> Small key. That's well, that won't be the last one we see. <laughs> That's a whopper. Maybe I should have gotten a potion before going here. Although, with the magical boomerang, I think we can sequence break a bit. I don't need the map for this dungeon, I do remember the layout. It's a bunch of square floors. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side of the chest. Life is so unfair! Actually, yeah, we're kind of skipping a substantial amount of the... That's not nice. Darn it, we missed with all of the dual shots. Okay, I'm actually not sure if this room is possible to get through without... Without the Pegasus Seeds.
There hasn't been any suffering in this dungeon yet. It's mainly the second part of the dungeon where things get annoying. <coughs> Manhandle up. Oh boy, I found another locked, another small key. Really wish I had the noble sword, though. That would make things much more fun. Is this mini boss time already? No, it's not. Don't be silly, Artie. This dungeon is massive. I can now hold more mystical seeds than before. So that got randomized. Wow, both seed satchels were hidden behind Tarm Ruins. That's... man... Oh, now it's mid-boss time. This guy was the biggest pain in the butt on a cursed playthrough. Gar har har, I'm Vire, Onyx's loyal henchman. I can handle you. I cannot tell you how annoying this guy was on a cursed playthrough. He was so RNG-based. And if you failed on him, you had to climb the entire dungeon again. It was the worst. Keeping in mind that two hit shots from him kill you on a cursed playthrough. And you also have to hit him, like, 50 times. Long well, story short, don't do a cursed playthrough. Yeah, like, you just, you can't hit him. He's just a total coward that constantly moves away from your attacks. And just shoots long-range projectiles at you. Fine! Goodbye! There we go, die. Ouch! Paid for my overconfidence, but I'll report this to Onyx. You do that. Oh, Vire's a total twerp. I love how this room, if you just run right, you dodge everything. Actually, if we can sequence break past, like, half this dungeon, because we have Rock's cape, maybe this dungeon won't be so bad. Still wish I had the quicksand ring, though. Oh boy, it's luck the room. Push a button and pray it's not snakes. Vires aren't that... This is the game I'd say Vire is the most annoying in. When they're common enemies, they're not too bad. Go away, wall masters. I don't want to play with you today. Oh no! Two hard hat beetles. Surely I must use the magnetic gloves, and nope. Slingshot with Gale Seeds. It solves a lot of your problems. That is one... Oh. <laughs> Silly me! I forgot to re-equip the Red Rain. Oh, wow! I didn't have the Red Rain equ equipped at all during that Vire fight. Wow, he would have been a lot easier if I did. Actually, he really wouldn't. Because he basically advanced his phase every time I hit him once, so... Oh well. Oh, I don't have the boss key, though. That could be bad. That might be a problem. Oh yeah, that actually is a problem. <laughs> That's right, I kind of forgot literally everything on the first two floors. Oh wait, what am I doing? Psst, save and quit. Save warp. 
I'm like, I better go back to the mini boss room to warp back to the. No, there's a much easier way, Artie. I will admit, this dungeon has some pretty cool music. Doo -doo -doo. I just don't like how huge it is. So I can't remember if it's this locked door up here or the locked door above the turntable that you can kind of permanently lose out on. Wow, magic. <laughs> wow, magic! <laughs> Man, the falling physics in this are not the best. Stupid Beemos. Pegasus? Wow, okay. Rock's Cape makes this dungeon a lot more fun. Because you can get past a lot of the tricky parts. Alright, boss key. That's also good. We've been looking for that. So Dancing Dragon Dungeon will be the last dungeon. That feels weird, but also fitting. Dancing Dragon Dungeon might be my favorite dungeon in this game. That... Well, normally I would say that or the Explorer Script, but the Explorer Script was not much fun this time. Alright, there's one to the left. Wait, haven't I been in this room before? I have. Well, no, I haven't. That's true. I Aegis level 4 is low-key my favorite Zelda dungeon ever. Not quite, but it's pretty darn good. You can use the shovel on these guys. It's a lot riskier, but you can. There <laughs> Why? You know, sometimes it's not about being practical. Sometimes it's just about looking cool. You'll never get the girls if you don't do cool stuff like that. Hey, dude. Oh no, Mace Knight. It's such a difficult enemy. Panic. There's still more on floor one. Oh yeah, the magical boomerang chest. I totally forgot about you. Hey look, it's the map! That we absolutely don't need, because we've already effectively filled it in. <laughs> Gotta impress Shield Knight. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that is one game I would like to Let's Play at some point. Shovel Knight. That would be a fun one. That would be a long one as well if I did all four campaigns. <laughs> exactly! I love how basically every final boss in every Zelda game you can do something weird with. Like, you can use the bug net on Aghanim in uh, Link to the Past. <laughs> Twilight Princess Ganondorf is fascinated with fishing poles. You can use the bottle, I think, to reflect Ganondorf's blasts in Ocarina of Time. It, it's so great. Will I never be able to go behind the turntable? No, I will. There should be a small key in this room. Small... Oh no, not small key, boss key. So I believe uh, Manhandla is going to be dropping a small key. But I don't think... Okay, yeah. Behind the turntable, there's literally nothing there. But you, you need a small key in order to get for the block to reach that warp. 
All right. <laughs> you need to work on your traps next time, Manhandla or Onyx. Who? I guess technically, who designed the dungeon? Did Onyx design the dungeon? Did Manhandla design the dungeon, or is this an already existing ruins and Manhandla just decided to move in? Along with 800 of his closest buds. Oh, that's true. Twinrova could have designed it as well. I hate this puzzle. It, you can literally press the buttons theoretically forever and never get the right combination. Like so. Speedrunners must hate that part. Okay, that was unnecessarily risky on my part. Oh, hey, you two again! Oh, gee, what can I do? Yoink! Luck in video games, it, it, it has an important role, but sometimes it can be just a little frustrating. With this many heart containers, I'm pretty sure we can deal with Manhandle a first try, but... Honestly, you never know. Alright, for Manhandle, we need Magical Boomerang, and I'm gonna use Rock's Cape as well. Also for this fight, we'll be equipping the Green Rain. Or maybe the Armor... Not, not the Armor Rain. This boss sucks. By that I mean he's actually extremely good at killing you. Woe to you if you don't know how to use the magical boomerang properly. Now we got to get Manhandle in the middle, or just do that. Goodbye. Oh boy, ten bombs! <laughs> Hot dog, Pluto! And we get the blowing wind at last. Really, Automod did not like... Automod, you are the worst. Auto mod thinks it knows more than actual mod. What exactly was I complaining about in that level? Well, a lot of the tricky jumps that you have to make, but I didn't have to make because I have Rock's Cape. Boss is really difficult if you're low on hearts. Vire is annoying. And um, because I went in with the Magical Boomerang, it didn't take nearly as long. That also helps. But here you go, I admit, it wasn't as bad as I remember it. I still think it might be my least favorite dungeon, though. Pretty much every other dungeon has something that I can appreciate. Not really Ancient Ruins. I guess the music is kind of cool. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. Sword and Shield Maze is probably more legitimately difficult. But it's also much more fun and much more cool.
All right, off to the the land of the dancing dragons. This is gonna be fun. Dancing Dragon Dungeon has one of the best dungeon themes ever, so it should be pretty enjoyable. <laughs> Do I sound excited enough? It should be pretty enjoyable. I can't wait for Dancing Dragon Dungeon. <laughs> oh, that's right. Red Rain. Also, I want my Noble Sword, and I want it now! <laughs> oh yeah, if you go into Jabba Jabba's Valley with the Lone Hook already in your inventory, oh yeah, I bet it would be so much more enjoyable. It still sucks, though, because it's literally Ocarina of Time Water Temple, but 2D, therefore worse. Because they're like, oh, you still need to have depth perception to know what's up and what's down, even though it doesn't show you. Alright, anyhow. We're not done with Dragon Tales just yet, folks. Seriously, where is that noble sword? Yeah, I know. I probably- this is probably why people just have a bunch of mods in their chat, so that they don't need auto-mod. But I only have two. My sister and Nintendo Addict. And the only reason I made Nintendo Addict a mod is because he was the only one in chat who could ban a bunch of bots that showed up, and I just never removed the mod status from him. So... <laughs> I mean, it's because I, I respect and trust him, and he's he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> Saved it. All right, Dancing Dragon Dungeon. It's a weird name for it because there's no dancing nor dragons. But what you gonna do? Sure, Dan. Oh look, the boss key already. <laughs> I would like to have the noble sword before. Onyx, though. Or Nox, as he's sometimes called. I think there's at least one point in the game where Twin Rova call him Nox. Ooh, it's this room. Oh, that music. What a bop. Give me my key, please and thank you. In the linked game, when his flame is lit... Oh yeah, yeah. That's when they call him Nox. Onyx is simultaneously the best and worst Zelda villain ever. <laughs> where, like, literally he has the dumbest plot ever, where he's like, ha ha ha, I, I mess up the seasons. Why? Because I'm evil. But at the same time, he's actually a really good boss fight. <laughs> Compared to Varan, who turns into a turtle as her one-winged angel form. Not quite as impressive there, Varan. Oh, hey, a heart container. Cool. Well, I can't get the last heart container without spamming maple and or gasha seeds, so that's just not happening. So this is as good as it gets, boys. Is that Kefka from Final Fantasy? Haven't played Final Fantasy VI. I've heard he's a very well-liked villain, though. And you know what? Not all of the... 
I want to say it. Not all villains need to have, like, deep motivation. Sometimes it's good to just have a villain who's just unrepentantly evil. See, Ansem from Kingdom Hearts, possibly my favorite video game villain of all time, who basically has absolutely no motivations other than he's super evil. And it's, it's glorious. There's not a time and a place for, like, the complex villains with deep, tragic motivations, but, you know, I feel like I err on the side of I like the flat-out black-and-white super-evil villains more. Still no bomb expansion, because still no star-shaped door. Guys, where is the star-shaped door? Do you think we'll find it here, or did we miss it somewhere? <laughs> it's what you get when you defeat Onyx! Not that the bomb expansion is really going to be helpful at all at this point, but... Still. <laughs> ah, I love swinging the sword like crazy in the minecart. <laughs> It's just so fun. Hey, that's fair. That's true. <laughs> he, at first, he's just evil because he's evil, but then, if you d examine the lore enough, he has a bit of a reason, but also kind of doesn't, but also does, but also doesn't. Man, FNAF lore is weird. <laughs> Aren't you going to give me mystery seeds? No, I know all I know all your tricks, old man. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Seems like something a very rational, reasonable human being would do. Oh no, Hyper Slingshot's gonna make that puzzle so much more annoying. Actually, I guess that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Thank goodness the developers had the foresight to make that puzzle still possible even if you had the Hyper Slingshot. Oh, is it, is it time for mini... Yeah, it's time for mini-boss against Wizrobe. My favorite mini-boss, Wizrobe. Can you see through my power? Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh my gosh, you are so slow. Wow, he was super slow. So slow that I had to relight the flames. Oh, he's supposed to be Aghanim? I have... Oh, wait, guys. What am I doing? I have the official... I have the official strategy guide for Oracle of Seasons and Ages in the room with me. Let me go get it. You can look up his name. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, hey, I opened right up to the Dancing Dragon dungeon. Ah, uh, where is he? Oh, dumb. It doesn't even say what his name is. It just says, The mini-boss in C7 is can be a very tough foe if you don't know its secret. He doesn't even have a name. That's how lame he is. He doesn't even get his own name. And thus, I dub him Wizrobe, because that's basically what he is. Big, big boy Wizrobe. And that's all he'll ever be. 
only that strategy guide could help me out with the <laughs> the pole room without Pegasus seeds. All right, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a small key. I see. I'm going out of my way to find every chest because one of those might beat the noble sword. Is that actually the case? Because as far as I can tell, the FNAF 4 lore is so messed up that nobody knows what it means. There are theories, but... A junk. Oh no. Yuck. Get out of here, Wizro or not Wizro, Bemos. Oh yeah, we need Pegasus seeds. I think we need Pegasus seeds, maybe not. Hey, junk. Oh, thank goodness we went all that way for the compass. That's such a worthwhile endeavor. Oh, look, we have all the chests! <laughs> I wish you could turn off the hypersling shot if you don't want to shoot all three things at once. Bottomless pit, is there nothing here? Wow, I thought there was a switch over there, but nope, I just suck. Whoa, whoa! It's like the teacups at Disney. Oh, yeah! That was one of. That was low-key one of the creepiest moments in the series for me, seeing the, like, adorable little plushie with the sinister smile and that, like, walkie-talkie, and I'm like, oh, the implications there are disturbing. That's the kind of horror I like, like, the really subtle, like, oh, that's creepy kind of horror. Oh boy, I got a hundred dollars! Man, who dropped a Ben Franklin in the water? <laughs> Too late. Actually, you can literally cheese that with the boomerang just casually, right? So you don't even need the slingshot until you reach the boss. Actually, that's not that's not true. That is that's fake news. Don't listen to me. You need it to light the torches on the minecart to get one of the keys. All right, last Wizro. Yeesh. Yeah, that's that game series is kind of messed up. Oh no, I have to light the torches. No, I don't. I couldn't jump that far. <laughs> I like how you can despawn the Wizrobe's blasts. Alright. Witcha, 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 witcha! Alright. Hi, Gahama. You were also a pain on a cursed playthrough.
There we go. Bye, Gahama. Oh my gosh. Well, the star-shaped ore was in there. But not the noble sword. I want my noble sword. <laughs> Chucky party, you can be the star. <laughs> All right, well, we are the star. Well, now that we're the star, we might as well do something about that. <laughs> let's see Let's see if the bomb upgrade did, in fact, change from the starship door. Probably not, but you never know. Otherwise, yeah, I don't... There's no... There are no checks in Onyx's castle, I'm like, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, might be time to consult the Guide of Spoilers. Alright, do-do. I am very sad. I just saw where the Noble Sword was located, and I could have gotten it, like, at the beginning of the game! <laughs> Not really. I could have gotten it last stream, though. Great. I... Energy rain. Might as well get the bomb upgrade. Might guess we're not getting the big the bomb upgrade. Unless We're almost at fifty. Oh, we're at fifty. Do we have ten bombs? We have eight bombs. Are you kidding? Fine. Fine. We don't get the bomb upgrade. But we're getting the Noble Sword. And you know, actually, no, you know what? The Noble Sword is right on the way to his castle. Because first we have to go to the Maku Tree and actually get the giant seed. I'm, s I'm so dumb. I literally was right next to the Noble Sword earlier in the stream and I was literally on my way to head to it and then I'm like wait no that's not a fan but it totally is oh my gosh I'm so dumb oh hey maple no I'll let you keep your stuff yep I was a big old dumb stupid face Artie, you gathered all the essences of nature I'm so fat now here take this magical Make a tree seed. For some reason, it has the power to dispel the darkness. Man, that's what we needed in Kingdom Hearts. All we needed to do was go to the Maku tree and be like, "Hey, can we have one of your like giant Maku nuts?" Oh yeah, sure. Got tons of them. Okay, so um, you want to know where the Noble Sword is? Remember how earlier in the stream we uh, we drained the water here by making it summer and we found what, the square-shaped jewel that way? You remember how there's there's a never, never submerged cave here? That you also get through by draining the water? Guess who forgot that cave existed? I was literally heading over this direction. Sorry, not here. On one of these screens. Oh, okay. My mistake. So it is slightly more out of the way, because what we have to do is we actually have to cross the water on this side, then drain it on the other side. Okay, so I'm really not as stupid as I thought, because it is in a slightly different place, but I still was right here. Yeah, you drain the water on this side. <laughs> Does who have a ghost as his profile picture? Yeah, that rock right there. 
My profile picture is not a ghost, I will have you know. And there it is. Could have gotten that quite a while ago. I forgot about the check as well. Because there's normally just a piece of heart there. But there you go. Not Tarm Ruins, no. North Horon. That's what we want. I've gotten that before. It's My profile picture is supposed to be a blue ink blot. But, like, cute. I'm not very good at drawing. I used a trackpad in Microsoft Paint with exceedingly limited artistic skills, and that's what I came up with. And I, I was happy enough with it that I didn't care to go any further. Oh, also, anyone know about this? Gasha plot right there. Some of the Gasha plots are hidden in stupidly difficult locations that nobody would ever find on their own. All right, off to fight Nox. That is a cool looking effect. Oh man. I'm comparing what I'm seeing on the emulator and what's actually getting streamed and like half of these visual effects are they're not even displaying on the stream. I might do the Ages Randomizer. Not tonight! <laughs> I am actually running low on health. And I don't have a potion. Maybe. Hi there, Wallmasters. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the bombs. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, hey, it's Face! Burp, burp, burp. Oh, wow, he dead. Oh, wow, he dropped a fairy for me. That's just wonderful. Thank you, Face. Oh, hey, Din. Oh, no! Nox in his mace! He at least looks cool. He's like a giant gold iron knuckle. The boy comes! I, Onyx, General of Darkness, imprison Din and cast seasons into chaos. You flit before me like a fly. I'll crush you! You might think that, Onyx, but I've got the Noble Sword and the Red Ring, so you're actually going to die really quickly. <laughs> Uh, don't think I've been beaten. Can you keep up with the fight? Don't want to hurt you, Din. Oh, wow, he already did. <laughs> Honestly, Manhandle is a tougher boss. I'm not doing a linked game randomizer, no. That seems like a bad idea. Gahaha! -ha, not bad at all, but I'm done toying with you. I will show you my true might! Yeah, this is so much less scary than my cursed flavor, dude. Ha <laughs> ha! I was summoned from the Dark Realm by Twin Rova. See my true form! Feel the might of a dark dragon! Alright, buddy. Sure. Oh, so one thing I learned, doing my cursed playthrough, with a big enough shield you can guard his claw like that. You can also jump over, but it's an exceedingly precise jump. That works.
This guy is definitely a much tougher fight than Varan is. Honestly, this guy's a tougher fight than Ganon is as well. Ganon's actually kind of a joke. God, no! It's too late! My orders were to capture Jin and deliver the destructive power of a seasonless land to Twin Rova. Now is the flame of destruction that power is set to devour this land. <laughs> I would be cool if they wanted to bring back Onyx. Not, maybe not as a main villain, but at least as like a reoccurring villain. I think that would be fun. You're lousy. <laughs> that better have been directed at Onyx, not me. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Artie. I knew you could save me. Cool. Let me dance. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the baby. Completely. Pfft. Whoops! <laughs> also, Ricky for Smash Brothers. As an assist trophy. Or as a... You know what? They need a new original Zelda character, and Ricky would be very original. The trials you faced to collect the essences of nature have made you a true hero. <laughs> Eat it, Hercules. I'm not an action figure yet, but it don't matter. Let's return to Horon Village and meet the others. Aw, yeah. I love how Din literally hit only is known as for about five minutes, and she's still like, oh my gosh, we besties. Ha ha, Artie, don't think this is the end. Onyx has fallen, but the damage he has done to this land burns on in the flame of destruction. When this flame lights the dark, our wish shall be granted. Ha <laughs> ha! That definitely the scariest moment from the game. Oh my gosh, it only took three two-hour streams. But we beat our first Oracle of Seasons randomizer. As far as randomizers go, that one is probably my least favorite that I have tried out of Ocarina of Time Majora and Link to the Past, as well as this one. But having said that, I still might do it again in the future, just not for a while, and I might try out the Ages randomizer. See you, Nintendo Addict! Thanks for joining in, thanks for your help. Yeah, I don't think we really need to watch the credits, but it's here if you want. Oh no, a maple hit the snot bubble of the Meku tree. Yeah, we got really unlucky with some of those locations. The fact that both seed satchels were hidden behind the thing that you pretty much need the seed satchel for, that was annoying. I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if we had If we had gotten the seed satchel earlier, so I could use Gale Seeds to avoid backtracking a lot, I would have liked that a lot more, I think. But maybe we just got really unlucky. I don't really know. But I, I won't be going back to the Seasons Randomizer for a while. I do want to do more randomizers, though, in December. Because Banjo-Tooie is finishing up this week. And I'm not planning any other Let's Plays until 2022, so... I might have to just increase my stream output. Or just go easy on the videos for a while. Uh, Din... We've only known each other for about 10 minutes, so it's a, that's too not enough time for you to be giving me that look. Randomizer December... Doesn't, it's not super catchy, but yeah, maybe. I really like randomizers. There also might be a chance of some uh, multi-world randomizers in the future if we, can, if I can get people interested in that. There are a couple people who might be interested, so keep that in mind. All right, I think I can end the stream there. We don't really need to see all of the credits, and yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. This was a ton of fun, nonetheless, despite the task trick that was basically needed to get past those stupid old lanterns. Ah, uh, I guess Saturday we'll be streaming more Mario 64. Maybe we can finish our 100% Let's Play... Let's Play... our 100% playthrough of that on Saturday. Otherwise, we'll probably keep up the randomizers for the coming weeks. So, I wish you all a great night, have a fantastic rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and God bless. See you around.